Hello everybody, this is DJ Incredible from Pocket Band New Loops. I'm here to do you guys a tutorial today because Flickwood's <coughs> I'm out with the flu. Oh, I'm sorry. Whew, man. Yeah, but uh, on a serious note here, I'm here to help you guys out on learning how to use the voice recorder today. This is just going to be a basic, broad overview of what you need to do in order to record. So I already have it loaded up here in our editor. And then I clicked on our song, Pocket Band Tutorial, and I have it right here, Voice Recording Demo. So basically what we're going to do is you already know the basic layout of how the loops work out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click our voice recording clip. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add our device. And our face has changed a little bit since the update. I'm going to click our recorder. And you, in the previous tutorials we learned what all these do too. So here we got our basic pop-up menu for our recorder here. I'm going to go over here. Just a broad overview of what everything in here does. And right here we got our one bar, two bar, and four bars. What that means is that's four seconds of recording, eight seconds of recording, and 14 seconds of recording. Down here we got a different format. So how do you want it to come out? Do you want it to come out uncompressed or compressed? And then down here we got our sample rates of how good of a quality you actually want it to be. Down here we got our storage usage. As you can tell, mine's at 14 of 15, or 14 of 50, I'm sorry. And when it fills up to 50, if I need more space, I just go ahead and I simply just buy more. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out with four bars. Actually, let's go ahead and do two. I'm going to leave it at two because I just want to do a short recording. Then we push our next button. Then this menu pops up here. What that means is we got a one bar and a two bar recount. Basically, what kind of count do you want it to be on a one, or do you want to be on a two count? Down here, we got our metrodome settings, which this is all metrodome anyways, by the way. But if you like to hear the, the click of the metrodome with the one bar and two bar synced into it, then you can. But I prefer to keep the clicker off. You also got the vibrate option if you want your phone to vibrate. Down here, we got the volume of what you want it to be, and then you got the overall loop volume. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to push our record button and let it do its 4, 3, 2, 1 countdown. Hello Pocket Man, this is your tutorial with DJ Incredible. And we can go ahead and view our recording. Let me go ahead and play it again. I didn't have my volume all the way up. Hello Pocket Man, this is your tutorial with DJ Incredible. Alright then, what we're going to do now is just going to go ahead and leave the applied noise reduction on because, yeah, I have a lot of background noise here. So it's going to go ahead and push next. And then you can go ahead and view over what you did. Of course, you got your options of clicking down here and naming your recording. You got your collab invite. You also got your channel settings, which then in each channel you got all your effects. But we're going to go over that in a future uh, tutorial. Basically, you also got your delay and reverb down there. You got your paramedic EQ. So let's go ahead and just back out of that. Down here we got our adjust sync error. What that means is you can go ahead and adjust the song to anywhere you want. If you want it to start a little earlier, like right there, then you could. But I like to always start it a little bit delayed. Like for instance, if I had like an explosion coming, then I can have it sync perfectly to where I want it to be. And of course you you push your little say button. And then you can go ahead and do that. So basically that's our broad overview of the voice recorder. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask me or Flickwood within the thread that we have posted in the journal discussion forum. Thanks. Have a good day.